February 8, 2023. Marcus Giovanni here. Um, man, uh, the bronchial infection that's going around in Denver and Atlanta, killer. It ain't killing you, but it kills, it takes your voice. Oof. Then when you lay down, it gets worse. So you gotta kind of be propped up. Anyways, I'm writing about Carrie Tipper, Nicole Doheny. I don't know how to pronounce Janelle Forty or Janelle Ford. Or is it Forde? Forde? And then you have Jen Ritter. <clears throat> so what's happened is they picked a team to be all girl team, an all woman team. And they're using that as a tool to uh, keep everybody's mind on what's really going on. And what these women don't understand is this is, we're indexing them. Their team didn't mean nothing before they didn't have the team. So now they say the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. They planted their tree the day this executive team, this is how it works, folks, in the real world of AI and information technology and the Internet of Things. When they form that team, that's when, if they get verified by Google, they're verified by the local people that talk about them, the different news medias that are picking up the same taglines. So what happens with these people is when they continue to do this, AI pattern matches, even in advance, the probability that these people won't do or won't be able to complete the mission of whatever it is they're promising to eradicate or fix, keeping it in simpler terms. So when you think about Carrie Tipper, um, she's on the, the dream team. She's the city attorney for Denver. And when you think about what Denver has done to me, and you can Google search all kinds of information, city and county of Denver.us, I sued the United States Cup, or yeah, I did that too, but this is a different story here. And when you understand that, Carrie Tipper and all, all everything that she does is now indexed. And on her office won a case I filed because they have Judge Andrew Luxon, who concurred in regards to the Spear Amendment, which gives us a non-political power, meaning the government stands with the people. So if the people didn't want the homeless here and bringing down the property values and getting 300 and plus million dollars, why um, 16th Street Mall gets 380,000, we're taking hotels, paying off all their money, all those hotels that would be used to bring in snowbirds to go up in the mountain and play in the snow and ski and snowmobile and all those other things they do. Um, they're not here now, so they're not going to be there to spend the money in these neighborhoods. These I've seen the economic, the, uh, uh, the economic just implosion that's coming through digital mo models with the artificial intelligence. And I'm showing you right here. It's right, right in front of you. See, this right here came up with a conversation. Someone said, oh, Carrie Tipper does what you do. She's in the technology. No, she's not. And so I looked and there was this, bam, it comes from another country. So I don't put it past anybody being anything about anything, <laughs> you know what I mean? Good for her, it's good for her, but we need, but people are using this information in regards to their decision to vote or, or get behind somebody. Because they just Google us and wow, look at you. They don't even click on it, they just read it. So <clears throat> anyways, Denver City Attorney, that's, that's us. We're 5280 Denver, Marcus Giovanni. See, we built platforms that artificial intelligence told us to build through developing the domain name, then developing all the URL pages, then developing, you know what I mean? 
So when it comes for to doing the right thing and the betterment of our digital world, I, I can't control the mortal world. That happens at their own pace and they do what they want and they can all, they can all lie and, and live on the lie wagon and do all their drugs and do all that and whatever they want to do. That's what we come to America for. So if you want to go jam needles, go jam needles, man. Just don't do it in front of me. You want to go do whatever it is you want to do. Go do it in the privacy of your own. But see, some of that's built off on us. Now we have to see all this stuff that these people want. And, I, and it's like, well, what? so I don't watch. I don't watch TV. You know, I just index different people and different organizations that are doing the betterment of what needs to be done so that we don't all end up killing ourselves or taking our kids to go to war and, and go kill other people on their property in another country. So if they were here, but our security has been breached very bad and Americans need to wake the fuck up. And um, if there isn't um, 30 million people with guns hiding behind a blade of grass, there better be because they're going to do the same thing um, they're doing all around the world and we just got to be safe. We got to be safe on Google. We got to be safe on YouTube. That's the only thing I use. I don't have LinkedIn. I don't have any of those. And the ones I did get, I don't use. I do reversed. I do reverse throttling. Ask your IT people if they know what reverse throt throttling is. This is why you see my stuff here. And the other thing is that if you're going to be, we do Google stuff and you can go to googlebusinessdeveloper.com we're compliance officers, third party, and we're learning all the things that need to be done so that when we build our team and we get the finances that we're working on now so they can hire a president that is an attorney that runs all of our platforms. This way they can monitor everything we need to do and they can represent themselves in court. You can't have a better client than that. <laughs> so we cut our cost down, which allows us to enforce our copyright and our publishing. There's a lot of money going being made on these little companies on, far away and, and, and close within on branding under other names. <clears throat> and there's um, uh, some algorithms that we came up with that we found this. And maybe they just, you know, hey, they're selling it. They need to pay us. They need to pay all the artists they're doing this to. So that's another um, story um, that needs to be talked about. But we don't need to brag about it. We just need to do about it. All these people brag about things that um, are kind of... So... When you look at all of this stuff, it tells a story, okay? What we do is we, we create blocks of uh, conversation blocks of titles and meta descriptions, meta tags to what we believe a group of people will be having um, in the future. And, but we're gathering the information now in order to set up the virtual machines with learning capabilities that are going to learn these habits and emotions of the of the next generation of um, internet cell phone users because now we're all pattern matched with our voices. Our voices are the new voice latent print where now if one guy goes and commits a crime and his buddies are with him and they all have their cell phones now they can pattern match them. And what happens if they all talk about it before they even do it? Law enforcement is getting ready to launch this system that I believe is going to change the world. And um, in far as um, police investigations to keep those men and women safe because they have every right to get home to their family. And there should be no reason that our, that our system and our neighborhoods are so bad that they cannot get home to their mom and dad, not get home to their children. There's some firefighters that are young and living with their families, and people cut that down, but what it does is it builds stronger families, and it builds money for them. 
So that's why they do it. It gets a little hectic, yeah. But when you think about the money you save, um, utilize it. That's what the families are for. That's why they do it around all the other countries, but the, but America. Because it's designed so that you got to go into a nursing home and then all your money that you paid for that equity in that house, while you're, all your kids, seven kids, are all living in seven different houses. And they all have all these, fa all these people where you could have just upgraded to a, a bigger home to where now the kids are still the kids, but they, it, they evolve because now they've replaced them with their grandkids and now grandma and grandpa have people they can, their grandchildren, not people, but their grandchildren to spoil and, and help grow and nurture their families. So it's going to be the new way of living. That's what AI is informing me. Not the humbo jumbo you see in Denver, which they don't realize when they talk about doing green footprints, but they're building thousand resident apartment complex where they're tearing down one home to divide up a lot that there's people around the world that would pay a million dollars for an acre lot in Denver and have that house right smack in the middle. And then you you only have two cars, maybe four cars. Now they're tearing down a home, putting two lots and people coming in, putting fourplexes in them or a twoplex. So where there used to be just a regular two car garage, now there is um, four, six and eight car garages, depending on the duplex, tripleplex, whatever plex. They uh, want a perplex on the community in in the name of we're building green. But now there's more car emissions coming into our neighborhoods. Um, so sooner or later, what's going to happen is AI is going to make it straight. And there's only a few people, organizations that are planning for this disruption that is being brought on by people that have no business being in the positions that they are throughout the governments of the world. Huh. Man, when you think I don't even have a high school diploma, what the am I doing here? I'm protecting Denver from itself because they don't understand that the path we're going on is a deadly 20, 30, fit if we make it. If we make it. Um, I've seen it. I've seen it, folks. <sighs> anyway, so now you have Doheny. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. All-female team. We own this 2023 Denver mayor. See, I would have been mayor, but I had to... I had... I knew I wasn't going to... No matter how many signatures I was going to hand in, I knew it wasn't going to be enough. And then by the time I handed it in, I wouldn't have been able to to make up any differences in it. And since they changed the date to where it's a colder date, which is uh, Paul Lopez is doing, and see all this stuff's indexed, all the other people they talk to, blah, blah, blah. A good subpoena, you pop that right up and it'll come up on all these people. They don't know this, but it, investigators are learning. I mean, we're gonna have to pay these debts off that we're in completely all the way to the United States. We, we can't sustain this. I've seen the models, folks. You want to talk about looking at hurricane models? Let me show you some real models. It'll make you sick to your fucking stomach. You want the truth? Or are you going to go talk to Ian Tafoya? You're going to go talk to, to Mike Johnston. He's probably one of the most outdated clowns of the economic disaster that's going to hit Denver. He doesn't know this because he doesn't do what I do for a living. He hasn't prepared and paid for the platforms that I did by by forming um, City and County of Denver LLC, break, breaking us apart under the Spear Amendment away from the city's destruction and mayhem. Our sidewalks aren't getting fixed. Our schools are dummying up even more and, and just causing more crime and more crime. And, you know, in... It, it, when you're the mayor of a city and your car gets stolen and you just become mayor and your car gets stolen, what does that tell you about your city? And this ain't the citizens, folks. These are the people coming to Denver. 
These are the illegals now that are all get to travel around the United States on a piece of paper and not have to wait in line like the rest of us. And we're all looking at each other like, wow, why are they going through? When I stand in lines and I see that at the airport in DIA, I do a lot of traveling. I, I, I feel like a dumb ass standing there with everybody else watching that just go through. Like, what are they doing? How are they getting through there with just the paper? I have to go over here. Whoosh. So maybe it's that. Maybe we could look at it that way. But maybe it's just a way to keep an eye on all these people knowing exactly where they're at, where they're going at all times. Now that makes sense, right? Yeah, these guys got to go up front. They're... Mm -hmm. Anyways, Nicole's the financial person. Uh, don't know if she lives in Denver. Don't know. Maybe she does. We own Met a Human Man. M-A-N's my initials, by the way, my adopted name. And we own this, Denver Municipal Elections. See, what happens is we pattern match the truth with, with these algorithms that Denver Post and, and, and John Murray and Joel and all these other Colorado politics and Denver Right News and the Denver Newsroom for the, for the legal government of the city and county of Denver, the city attorney's office, the Denver clerk and recorder. When I went in there, folks... I digitized all of them, every single one of them. I systematically went in. I went into every office and I served them directly so that I could get the meta tag locations and the digitized work that I p filed with the court. So that way nobody could say they weren't served. Nobody could say they didn't see this. And now they're all been indexed in this pattern of destruction in our justice, in our legal, of our halls of justice. And some of these judges that we have, we have some really good ones, folks. I'm not going to lie. I like, I like Judge Whitney. I, I saw him battle. Um, and I saw him battle when everything was a lie and nothing made sense because he can't look at these people and go, Stuff ain't making any sense. It doesn't make sense because the people that are telling it to you are lying to you, Judge. And so, um, and but there's probably I've I've had four judges. One, two, no, three judges that I believe are the most despicable of all judges that walk down those halls with their head hung high when it should be hung low. But this is something that the Denver judges have to take care of in their own way. I'm not, I'm not willing to hang or to tarnish the, the halls of justice, even though they've tarnished me all the way up to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. So I know my way around. And that's what outranks me on all these other people that are running for office because their mad attacks don't even come close to the things I've done in my life at such an early age to where I am now. And so when, when this Nicole chick comes out, when you find out how old she is and you realize that, you know, having young people in, in charge is not such a good idea, especially when the older you ha are, the more authority you have over the other people in your industry. Because why? because they've lived life longer than you and they've done more vacations, they've had more things to do to talk about in regards to being able to be pattern matched to like-minded people in order to have a nice, smooth running life with cool people that like everything that you like and you're just like, wow, man, I just talked to this all my clients, I love them all, they're, they like all the teams I like, they like all the foods I I just can't believe it, everyone, a single, and that's what's coming. And those that, that talk the hate and the anguish and just all the peril and all, whew, they're going to get that. So if you have an app on your phone to tell you you have too many apps, you're an app whore. 
And so what happens is all this, when, it, when social credit hits, folks, oh my God, it, the internet's going to be the most p richest place for, for, for uh, digital directories. And we've got many, we got like 80 of them, folks, all designed and, and people, oh, 80, yeah, $12. Now it's going to be like $20 a year. That's less than $2 a month. Thank you very much. That's sustainability. That's sustainability. You can put a, you can put a group of investors around that and say, hey, this is what this is. And let me show you the return. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's why we have it. Do you have inventions? You contact City and County Denver LLC. Do hashtag City and County of Denver at sign City and County of Denver. Those are the handles. We verify handles. That's what we do. And when we do that, it takes away all the all the needless content that's there that's not relevant to what I'm looking for. And then what I'm looking for, and if if it's powerful enough, it'll change so that when you Google search it you will see what I see so you don't have to go through the bullshit of having to do what I have had to do to even get to that level. Does that make sense? So when Mayor Hancock and all these clowns, I don't like to call names, but they're in the metaverse, they're identified as clowns. They come in, they get it, they MC and they're the, go get them, they're the mascots of the football teams and, you know, and um, and so that's their identifier in my metaverse. Everybody has a different metaverse, but if you use the same words to describe what individual you join that blockchain of conversation, well, you might call them something completely different. And then in that case, you'll go into a different way that's not in our way, just like is what's being done now when you hear all the talking heads on TV for certain parties say the same thing, you know? So um, eventually everything that Chuck Schumer says and Biden and Trump and all these other guys uh, around the whole world is going to get indexed and it's being indexed. And sooner or later, people in who knows where in this world are going to say, you know what? Artificial Tony says that what's going on in the United States right now is insane, insanity. And why is this important? Because the United States has nuclear capabilities. So you can go off in the wide spectrum of all kinds of things, but wouldn't it be much better if we all just really kind of hold hands and <laughs> sing Kumbaya? Go get some kids some Nikes that never had them in their life. Stop wasting money on all this political money machine that we can be given to poor children to get new shoes, new clothes, maybe a laptop, maybe help a mom and dad that are beaten, beaten feet and beaten the streets with no car, no nothing. And then they go into a McDonald's to eat and they're crossed with, with a different language they don't understand. And they, they try to work with them on the order while you sit there in line waiting for it. Why everybody goes, okay, well, he's got to learn. And then you get the order and it's completely wrong. You got to start the process all over with that person. I've seen this, folks. You know, they have, they have the wrong people communicating. And this is, you know, it, it, it's not supposed to be like this. So we can either live like this or change it. And even the ones that are doing this would welcome this kind of change because eventually that riffraff ends up at your front door. And when you create it, who are you going to call? Because Ghostbusters ain't around. Ghostbusters are a figment of someone else's imagination that they keep on repeat. I got it on repeat. So everything Denver does got it on repeat. You heard me? I got it on repeat. Scarface on repeat. See that movie? Not Scarface. Yeah, I've seen Scarface. But the one where the guy goes, I got it on repeat. Look at me, I'm a gangster. I got it on repeat. I got I got Scarface on repeat. What's the name of that movie? Who's that actor? 
doesn't sound like that, but it sounds like it to me. Um, it, uh, it was, uh, I'll think I, it was, um, anyways, doesn't matter. What we, what matters now is that we all get along and we start figuring out things for the metaverse so that we can create all kinds of income and stop wasting money and get this, this debt that is, um, is a, now a noose around the United States economy's neck. And they can go ahead and keep pushing that rock down the road, but eventually, eventually, something's going to happen to that. And no one's going to, if, if we get that far. You know, it's almost like we, we you know, I, I don't know it all. I, I see things on these algorithms that you really want to go and show somebody and say, man, what is, what is this stuff? <laughs> what does this mean? But um, they're not out there yet. And the ones that are out there would be coming forward, but that's why they're not out there, because they're not coming forward, because they're too busy trying to figure out all this shit themselves. And when you've got guys that have created these virtual machines that have learning capabilities, tell us we have to unplug it. You can't. Done. When Facebook unplugged those two computers, those two com those two computers, I can tell you right now, I call them thirteen sixty nine. When those two com named computers had already stored that content of what that language is. And now it's, I believe, has already infiltrated it. That's why Facebook can't shut down Facebook. That's why Twitter can't shut down Twitter. And they can recall it and say, yeah, if they, all this, remember that big thing that they did about shutting down? And, oh, Twitter is now, fa oh, Twitter's now meta. Uh, Facebook is now, or is it Twitter now, Meta and Facebook? You see? AI says, no. You're still Twitter, and you're still Facebook. And it's shameful that you guys tried to convince a whole world population that you were otherwise. That's AI. And that's what's not going to allow these guys to have that much money when people realize that their platforms are designed to suck money out of them completely and, and throttle their lives so you got to go, learn how to do reverse throttling and that's what i do i reverse throttle these and when time comes i'm going to be able to go and get my all my all of our platforms because it's going to be quite quite a bit of money um not as much as you think it would be not really um but it, it, it does if you, you're probably figuring about a hundred to $150 a month for premium services on YouTube and Google together combined. Use that force because when you use other forces, um, it will throttle you and, and, and their apps will pop up and then you think you turned off your Bluetooth and then you're, you're getting music in your ear and you're looking and someone turns your Bluetooth on and they're playing their music on your, on your app because you left an open port. So there's a lot of things we're not teaching our children about this internet stuff. We call it the internet of stuff. It's really internet of things. And the things are the apparatuses that we use to monitor, record our, our lives. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. Your friends are doing, getting you indexed through your voices and your locations when they're at your house and that's how it works, folks. So those that do the hiding the most because you're scared, not that you're doing anything wrong, artificial intelligence sees you as being wrong because you're not in the system. You're not contributing to the system. So therefore, you must be either bad or bad because anybody that's not good wouldn't do this. Does that make sense? That's how anyone that's not good wouldn't do this. Figure it out, folks. I talk sometimes in, in, in mm -hmm. rhymes because you got a reason with them. Um, AI does not have any habits and emotions. It's all done by yes or no, true or false, black or white, orange or red. Is it orange or red? But you do have, that's just straight talk in regards to upfront uh, conversations to get to the different colors that you're talking about.
different shapes, different size, all that. We do the front end programming, folks. So when 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 the mayor builds his team, what happens is, boom, Mike Johnson, there's the identifier. Google search his name, man. Do their pound and hashtag. That's the new the new sign. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Now we have um Janelle, she's from Chicago, right? And so you look at all these things. She only has 12. There's only 12 results of all the things this woman has done. My name's not up there. These are identifiers. You know what GP7A stands for? Anything that starts with a G, anything that starts with a P, lucky number seven, which is actually G, and A. So you look at Google, power, seven, authority government power seven authority that's the gpga and then you convert the numbers into you convert all that together those numbers and you add it up it's seven everything we do is on a mathematical three six nine equations this is so far advanced ian tafoya he had to steal my stuff on my radio and start telling everybody about what he was doing. Just like now he has a coalition of helping the homeless, which is good, right? But they're making money on this. And they're, they don't want to fix it because if they fixed it, what would they? who would pay into their homeless stuff? And so instead of building wealth, they're taking wealth and giving it to people that don't want to be part of the wealth, don't want to be part of living in a house. They want to camp. They want to go and free graze. They're free grazers. If we're going to put them goats and cattle, they're free grazing. That's what they do. They come in, they graze off our streets. They beg off our streets. And you see people in, 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 in luxury cars all giving them $5, $10, thinking it helps because what makes them feel good is to contributing to... Um, uh, to trying to stop when they're enabling exactly what we're all trying to stop. Just watch it. I mean, you got it on video. All those people giving money is getting recorded on the on the cameras above watching. See, Mike Johnson doesn't know how to fix that kind of stuff. Mike Johnson has to hire these women because he ain't smart enough to do all of it himself. Even though he's a graduate of of of, of Yale, he's a Yale man and Yale man with a football coach. Used to be seven, uh, two and seven record. Now it's thirteen, and he, he's an ever changing fool of content that that he's trying to stay ahead of everybody. And when he does that, because he's an attorney, he's indexed more than anybody, and he's the mayor. So now he's even more indexed. So everything that he says, if it doesn't match where he goes, doesn't match his actions, and everything he does, says I, I could tell the HR department exactly what the hell's going on. And they'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, Mayor, but you just got fired. <laughs> yep, according to the algorithm that Giovanni's showing us, you're about as worthless as a pea on a pod. I apologize. I um, Anyway, so I was going off course because that's what I do. It was what happens. I've been doing this so much. I see things like, well, in my, I just... It just tells me, and I just start talking about it so that it pattern matches to other content that we have. But anyway, so here she is. One, this is all of us. Look at that. All these are conversation blocks, folks, of things that are happening and, and with people that are talking about good things like the Super Bowl. And, and so all that content that they built to try to fake us out um, and take over a conversation that she's going to wish she didn't come to Chicago. She didn't come to Denver. It's a sad thing, but when she's part of a group that was foiled in Denver district courts, what does that tell you folks? And finally, we have Jen Ritter. I don't know what city she lives in. But here it is, folks. Mayor. All female team. And I don't have my name. Nothing's up here. 
But folks, when you understand what what this stuff means, like when she, oh yeah, she works for Bill and you know Bullock and Polis. Okay, great, Joe, great. They're legal. They're partisan. Good, good for her. But now, Jen, you come to Denver, and and you bring those, um, you bring those credits um, and connections to a non-political government just because the city and county of Denver attorney had one in court case CV or 23 CV 54 and I indexed it when when uh, Michelle Horn blasted with glee when I asked about the spear amendment we haven't enforced that law in years and see Judge Luxon, he's a district and attorney, ex. I used his experiences and I made meta tags to what a district attorney would look at in regards to a case. I mean, I've been doing this for quite some time. Um, since a long time. <laughs> since 95. Anyways, or at, yeah, well, before that, even. That's when I went to the Supreme Court. Anyways. Um, enough of that. So this is it. Mike Johnson hires chief of staff. Prepare to take over this first high-profile hire. High-profile to what? Denver Post? See? The tags aren't right. So, um, they should actually be up at the top if everything was run as copathetic. Copahetic. Look. This is us. I built these. This is for, these are platforms that will not allow, um, They these are knowledge-based platforms. All controlled by the citizens of Denver. I just have them. And when they realize how much residual income that these platforms are going to bring in for the citizens. So if the police force say, if Ron calls me up, Chief Ron calls me up, hey, G, yeah, Chief? Hey, man, we need to get, we need to get like, uh, you know, 1,500 um, of those special vests. And they got these new um, field goggles. And then we want to go and get these drones, these lower profile drones. We want to work with um, your, you had started a platform called um, civilcitypatrol.com. We'd like to get hooked up with that and learn the way you have strategically planned a digital dome over the city and county of Denver. Do you think these people could ever understand this call? But we'd be able to cut them a check. And the only thing the government is to do is to make sure then all, everything is run and all of our services and our economy is running. Everything else other than, and, and that we have fair elections. And right now they have created such a, a cesspool of, of filth and dirty needles and urine going down into these pools that they each individually own and are now identified. And we're talking about some big, big people that aren't going to be big anymore. And this is not something... It's just going to happen. This ain't a threat. This is something that if you change your ways and give up your position and start everything over, because that's what's going to happen. You can't, people can't just go, okay, I'm not, I'm not, you know, and that would be the fool, most foolish thing they could ever possibly do. But I'm expecting it. We've already written content. We've already seen, we did the models on what would happen if they did that. And that would be the final uh, digital cutoff for the whole entire group of identifiers. And it would happen like overnight, I would think. Um, that's what I would think. In the, in the, if things were running the way they are, it just, they'd all wake up and they'd have no way to communicate. Everything they have is caught in a whirlwind of a, um, oh man. It, it, these are, 
terms that I'd have to talk to people more intelligent than me so I could show them what I mean. So they would say, you know, I've seen this before, but it's not quite like that. We're going to have to call it blah, blah, blah. See, I shouldn't, I don't have the authority to name things I've created. That's not my, not my job. See, that's the job of people that look for new creations within these universities. But they're all caught up into the same vile, no end, no purpose um, paths. And it's not for the betterment of anything other than themselves. And so all these people, and it's going to happen. I don't care if they're IT people are honest with them or not, but if they're making $150,000 a year guiding these these colleges and these brainiacs and these academia nuts, they're going to take them right into the Dark Web Society. Darkwebsociety.com, folks. That's, that's a metaphor of what's to come. That is a domain metaphor. And behind the walls of that internet, of that site, is the amazing information that hasn't even been published and so these are the things that denver will control long after i'm gone and yet like like mayor spear who we've all shit on top of died in office with the influenza making denver a city beautiful and now we're the city of decay we have two former mayors that were the the um the uh, Pena and Mayor Webb were the growth mayors. And then when they came out last year and supported Michael, uh, John Hickenlooper and Michael Hancock, the decay mayors. Then he came out and he supported uh, Leslie Arad for uh, mayor and all the nitwitted conversations that went by that just weren't even way above. See, Denver's citizens are smarter than what these people think they are. They're only talking to a very small, their voters, the ones that vote for them all the time. That's about 200,000 people. It's the other people that they're, they're not hitting at all. And they're talking. And that's why you see my content at the top over everybody else. And see, we wait for them to do reactions because we've already written this content a long time ago, folks. We just lost some videos and some channels by going too far. But you have to go and... I don't know, folks. I, I, I don't know how to explain what Denver needs to do to become the Denver it wants to be, that it, that it ought to be, instead of being humble braggers and... And, and now they're stuck on this all-girl female executive team when they're not focusing on that they're, they're going to manage an illegitimate government. And just because they're IT people and all their people didn't get the memo to, in order to tell those people what to do, this is their own pearl. And, and when all the media and them go against the grain, you ever see that movie, Midnight Express? Okay. Um, they, uh, and that little thing, they walk around in circles. Uh, I'm that dude that's going the other way. We're the group of people that are going the other way. And what happens is when you get enough people going another way, you create your own path another way. And it's far away from the ones that have got their path and what they're doing. And if it's not doing the right thing, or for the betterment of the World Wide Web and our metaverses, then you'll continue to spiral and you'll just, you, you'll just it'll eat you up. You won't even be a factor. Only those that are the ones on the first 10 pages, on the first page, that's all us, folks. Met a human man, GP70 News, 5280 Denver, Marcus Giovanni. 5280 Denver. See, when we go out and do our stories, we actually go do it. And it's organic because no one's getting paid. Because it's so cheap, the way we do things, it works. Because we don't do it for money. But we, we make enough 
to do what we have to do so we don't have to be a 5013C. And then that, that, that right there, those agencies are going to be going backwards, like Colorado politics and all them. They've been indexed. They don't know this. Their editors don't know this because their editors think they're smart enough. And the, and the thing is, they're allowed to do what they're doing. It's their right. If they want to be the kings of bullshit and tell everybody bullshit as if it was the truth, that is their right. <laughs> it's their right to do that. So I would stick up for them in that fight, and I do. But their shit ain't coming up in my world. Ain't happening, and when they do, they 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 won't because they're gonna just continue to write, and and I won't see their shit, and they won't see my shit, and that's how it works. Shit on shit crimes, right? And so instead of committing crimes, we gotta start helping our kids, man. <laughs> I've never seen, man. I mean, my whole life I've seen nothing but people damaging kids, man. And when you report it, you better be careful reporting anything on in these schools or with the police folks. I, I, I'm old now. And, you know, you think you're doing a good duty by coming forward. You better make sure when you're coming forward with information, you have it all documented. You record everything that you do when you're, when you're giving up information that you know. Because investigators are not your friends. I, I get it. Believe me, I get it. If it was me, um, uh, I get it. <laughs> Believe me. But um, we have to work smarter. And we have to, um, you know, if Mike Johnson was really the educator that he claims to be, how come he doesn't have an app to change the way things are going on in our preschools? Because I have an app that once activated, we're going to be able to, and and then for they can't even have an attempt to use their words against the knowledge-based trust platform that we have that will create residual income so that every child in the city and county of Denver will have a sponsor. Someone outside mom and dad, and those mom and dad, see, here's the other thing they don't understand. They just took 338, 30 million to, to house people that don't belong in our country when we could have taken that money and given it to the citizens of Denver to help those moms and dads, so single moms and a single dad. I was a single dad. See, you didn't, didn't know this because I don't bring my family into the mix. I was raising three kids at this all my time. Why that? Why the departments and Michael Hancock, all those people were going, sending me notices and trying to destroy me. It's all posted on the internet. But I pattern match their voices now, so anything that they say in regards to me, it, it's not going to have a good effect on me. And it's all legal, folks. It's all legal. You just have to pay. You just have to figure out who you're gonna, who is gonna be your, your. Uh, your browser, your search engine, and your video company. And anything else is like trying to bring steak to a Del Frisco's and telling them to cook it. 